Well, I got some good news. I have found my mouse. So, that means I can actually continue on my normal adventure now. Show you guys what all I've done while my mouse was missing. Time day. Or not. <sighs> Put up a bunch of wall. I think that's five layers, yeah. Then I uh, put my netherrack right here. I might make it across in the center. I'm not sure yet, but I think I'm just going to go with this. I'm going to build a, another room out this way. That's going to be the throne room. I've already said that, but I'm just happy I found my mouse, so I'm not really focused on it. And it's like basically 4 a.m. at this point in time. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build on this corner a lot. Let's see. I'll do it this way. Okay. Uh... Gonna we'll make it cascading something like that into a different uh, towers. So yeah. That being set aside. Yeah, that's my plans and my update of as far as the mouse. See, this mouse I love because it fits perfectly in my hand. And I don't know if you can hear the music right now. Hold on, let me. You can probably hear that now. But that is Zelda Reorchestrated. And I have found my favorite song from Zelda on there. They uh, redid it again, I think. I might have been stupid and overlooked it the first time, but... Yeah. That would be the ending theme from A Link to the Past. Which is, as some of you know, my favorite game. Um, let's see. I'm smelting this cobble right now while listening to that. Uh, yeah, it's about all I've done, really, since the last thing, cause it's been, like, 30 minutes. So, how I found it, though, was kind of stupid. I was going to put that song on my iPod and just go to sleep, but looked in my chair that, or my recliner that's by my bed, and it was just sitting there randomly and I have took that chair everything off of it before shook every piece of clothing that I had sitting on it could not find it so my explanation for that is it's the ghost at our house and I do believe in ghosts because yeah I have actually seen one and that was freaky ass shit I guess it's story time again. Um, so, a dude died on our front, or back porch actually, technically, when he was cleaning out the gutters, and fell and cracked his skull open and, I guess, bled out. Because the person who we bought the house from is a widow, and she told us what happened. Well... Me and my mom both have seen the ghost, and I think my grandma has too. Because we live with our my grandma. And, yeah. So, one day, while I was asleep, here's what my mom saw. She saw that, or heard a noise, and the cat stood up, and frizz, or fizzled up. 
and she saw a shadow move in front of the door. And whenever she got up, she thought it was me playing a prank on her or something. Well, she got up, came in my room. I was sound asleep. She turned around, and the ghost was just standing there looking at her. So, that's her experience. Oh, uh, to get more cobble, I just did that. I need to do it that way, too, I think. Is that the one? This is the one. Pretty sure. Right there's the lava, right beyond that. But, yeah. My experience was... I was just going downstairs to get me a drink one day. Or was about to. And I saw this white figure standing at the bottom of the stairs. Like this pale white... Not really a word to describe it. It freaked me the fuck out. Like, I'm not one to get scared too easy. My ass was like back in my room and under the covers with it over my head in a heartbeat. That shit is freaky. So, I guess if you believe in ghosts or some shit, and had experience seeing one or something let me know in the comments and that'll be the end of it I guess um let's see what else to talk about said I was going to do an Okami review I'm going to save that till next episode that way I can space it out I might actually write down what I was going to say what I'll go on tangents about. Organize it somewhat better than I did the Okami Den review. Because I know people's going to comment about it. And I still hate the droid. I really do. The battery, it lasts me about three hours. Well, maybe a little more, but yeah. Um. Let's see. What to talk about. Oh, something else for Zelda fans out there that might be curious about. Shit, 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 shit. Well. Um. Anyways. There's something known as Zelda anime. It's basically a uh, manga. Different ver take on the manga. For those of you that actually know about the manga. Or manga, whichever you prefer to call it. I call it the... call it manga. But, yeah. They're doing a fan-made project, basically. And they're basically doing it over the 1970s cartoon show and turning that into a comic and making it look epic beyond proportions. And yeah, I'll probably post a link to that too in the description as well as Zelda Reorchestrated so you can actually listen to some of the different tracks they have. They have stuff from Link's Awakening. I know Sam Master Matt said he liked Link's Awakening if I remember right. Um, let's see. Every Zelda game basically. They even got the trailer from Skyward Sword uh, reorchestrated. They don't really have much on terms of the Game Boy games and DS games like Spirit Tracks and uh, Phantom Hourglass. They have a little bit of that actually but don't really know about Minish Cap music because Minish Cap was one of my lesser favorites. Mainly just because I hated Elzo, the talking cap. I'm probably spoiling this for those of you that actually haven't played all of them. But yeah. 
Um, what else to talk about? I think I might actually start adding ending things like that. And I might use the some of the Zelda reorchestrated music as the outro. Oh shit. Okay, we'll just leave that there like that. We'll keep that one and that one. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's see, that's seven, okay. Did it really burn that up? Oh well. But yeah, just a quick update on my mouse. Oh, uh, you'll probably see this slot like, very soon, but I'm going to continue the episode at another point in time, and it'll just be like a second for y'all, so yeah. And we're back. That looks really weird, but let's see. Right now I'm trying a texture pack that I have. It's the Zelda Overhaul. I'm going to assume that's... I don't know what that is. It's weird, whatever it is. But, we'll go with it. I need to check my render distance real fast, too, before we go on out. Hmm, guess I'm just lagging because of it. But, yeah. I might start using this depending on it. I need to check and see if it's updated yet, though, because I know for a fact that the... Oh, God. Just ate, sorry. Um, I know for a fact that the pine saplings and birch saplings don't show up right. Uh, but, yeah. Really? And I don't think I have any bones either. I'll go check, but... We'll see. Uh, would it be? Nope. Nope. Uh, bone meal. <sighs> nope. Yes. Okay. I'm not really worried about leaving my door open or closed right now because I'm on peaceful, so. See, there's a. One of those little birch saplings. Pretty sure. There he is. Haha. -ha. All right, Wolfie, let's go. And so my wolf pack grew by one. I know I could have used my shovel, but cheating ass wolf using teleport. Oh, well, I shouldn't say much because I'm about to use teleport too. Because we're going on an adventure today. Come on. 
No, let me in first. Let's see if you'll teleport up here like your brother did. Or cousin or whatever the fuck you are to him. Alright. Now here we go. Let's see, go to cave one. Well, that doesn't look too bad in this texture pack. Alright. Okay, first things first. We'll just drop off a cobble and wool right here. Actually, you know what? I'll keep the dirt on me. I can always use that to platform. Or I might just fly. I haven't decided yet. I mean, heck, y'all already know I have fly. Y'all just see me use single player commands to get here. Uh, let's see, options. We'll put it on normal for now. Okay. That's gravel, and this is apparently stone right here. Uh, I know I just passed up some iron, but right now I'm um, making sure everything's lit up. Okay. If y'all want me to, leave in the comments and I'll decide. But if you want me to just mine off camera, I will. But I figured I could mine a little bit right now, show y'all the textures and see what it looks like. If I can find it again, I'll put a link in the description for the texture pack if you're interested. But yeah. The mobs also look different too. Like it's a rescan of the mobs and everything. That's coal, I do believe. Let's see. Yeah, it's coal. See, I don't use this enough to know exactly what it, everything is. I used to use it, then they, the person who originally did it stopped updating it. And now it's just a uh, fan updated, basically. So I don't really know. I fucking hate redeads. So I'll be glad to kill these bastards. I should have started a timer, but I didn't again. So you might end up with like a 40 minute footage because I don't even know how much I recorded before. I think that's everything. Yeah, looks like everything. Okay, that does sound like a spawner. Let's cheat a little bit. Well, I hear something It sounds like a spawner, but I could be completely wrong on that. That's a dead end. That is gold ore, apparently.
I think I'm going to get everything in this episode for textures except for diamond, pretty much. I'm probably going to search for an update after this. If I can't find it, then... Yeah. Okay, I heard the zombies right here. Okay, it looks like they're right below me. Yep, that'd be it. There has to be a motherfucking spawner. See, now, if that was skeletons, I'd be in deep shit right about now. And you speak of it, and they appear. Oh, I about no reason I'm not taking damage. I was building earlier and I kept on falling off. So I kind of health hacked myself. There's a skeleton down there. We'll just ignore him for now. I just saw a creeper. Okay, let's... You wanna go, creeper? It's kinda hard to take you seriously now. Uh, give y'all a quick preview of what sulfur looks like. I think they uh, was trying to go for rocks feather whenever they uh, did the feather texture. Apparently I've already been here. Oh, fuck my life. Uh, okay, we'll just fly up through here, because I need to grab this coal for one thing. You know what, I'm going to pause it, uh, run back to my base, grab some food, and I'll be back with y'all in a minute. Well, I'm uh, mining up a whole bunch of iron right now. Uh, um, made me a few more torches. Should have made me another pickaxe, but that's okay. Okay, let's see. Grab all this. Probably should have waited on recording, but I had a few close encounters with spiders and another creeper. <sighs> let's see. Which way did I come from? Came from right here because that's where the damn creeper blew up on again. Nope, not doing it. Mm. 
Yep. Definitely not. Run away, uh, we'll go this way. Okay, apparently I'm got turned around. I need to go that way. Got five gravel. Well, that's one way to take care of a skeleton. Kiss my ass. Get away. There's more iron. Okay, I got it. I've been here. About nowhere here it is. We'll just light that up a little bit. Okay. First things first, I'm grabbing this iron. Ba da da. Okay. Okay. Pausing to let this... Well, my bed was missing or obstructed. Wonderful. So, I do believe I know where that was. Keyword believe that's wrong. It kind of depresses me because I had a whole bunch of junk. Okay, there's the bone. I think I went down this way. No. I'm trying to hurry up before my stuff despawns. Uh, it's wrong too. Damn it. Right here. I see my sword. I'm up. Okay, got my sword. Creepers in the hole. Let's just grab that. See what all I'm missing. I'm missing pretty much all my pickaxes. Or my pickaxe, should I say. Which it probably flowed down in that water flow right there where the creeper probably is. Let me up here. I don't care what's up here. You know what? I'm hacking. Health max. All right. Oh my god, it knows I hate skeletons. Oh my god. Oh my god. Run away. Oh 
Okay. <sighs> well. Really now. Pause. And the bed's still missing, so we'll go. Go to cave one. Um, let's see. I went through there. I think I came back through here. No. So I would have went straight to my base if that was the case. Well, I'm missing three stacks of torches. There's one shovel. There's most of my stuff. That seems pretty much right. Fuck this water. Okay. Now then. Apparently, I've already been here. And I failed to light everything up. I'm willing to bet half the shit spawned up here. I love how everything despawned after I died the second time. Apparently it decided it's not going to put me through that torch much longer. Mm, so much stuff. So much danger. Definitely want to keep my sword on my bar at this point in time. Okay. There's this. care if I place too many torches at this point in time. I'm just wanting this place to be safe. Well, no, nah, shit, it's a dark area. Half this cave's dark right now. I just heard a pig, so I'm assuming I'm really close to the surface. At least now I can gather all this stuff. This iron is really starting to look good for armor. Because that, all those deaths just then was horrible. Make sure I'm, yeah. Shit should have spawned already. I'm just expecting a creeper to come from an opening like this and fall on my head and piss me off I 
Okay. And that's lit up. Uh, so I guess let me know what you think about this texture pack. If you'd rather me just use the default again. Um, yeah. Just let me know what you guys think. I'm personally a fan of the original um, texture pack. Just because it's easier for me to tell what things are. But I'm sure if I uh, start using this enough, I heard zombies again. I still think there's a spawner around here. It's a good thing. Okay, so there's a zombie right here. Somewhere. One up, spider. You know what? I'll revisit that later. I'm more interested in gathering this iron and smelting it in a little bit. I might have to have another furnace side review. I'm going to call it that since I was sitting by the furnace the whole time basically. So you know this is one of the reasons I like the fly hack so I can go light up this and make it nice and bright. So I guess I do support the use of mods only when you're not going ape shit with it like infinite health like I did earlier by accident from where I was uh, building and kept falling oh my god at the zombie sounds can't even tell because of that stupid red box uh bucket what I'm hoping for is to go down here see some diamond uh, don't have any gravel I think that'll make my f uh, no that was the gold yeah that would be enough I should be able to make that gold block now and put it on top of my roof. Oh, how I wish this was an actual bomb. I'd so throw that shit. Oh, and I've been looking at a game called Terraria. Um, it looks kind of fun, but I just don't know if I want to buy it. And, yeah. If you guys know anything about it, uh, let me know if you think it's worth the money. And I'll probably do a Let's Play that if I do get it for a little bit. That'd probably be my escape from Minecraft for a little bit whenever I don't fuck doing a Let's Play of this. I was really dreading coming back to this cave and my dread was successfully placed I guess you could say that but yeah uh, if you have any opinions of the Terraria game let me know I know the Soundmaster Matt did a, a little bit of a let's, pl let's play of it without commentary though so I was just sitting there for an hour and a half but I was still captivated I'll admit It looks fun though, because you actually have 
accessories you can equip to unlock Minecraft. And that looks like all the iron I'm getting. Or coal. So, I guess I'm going to warp out of here. And end my episode. So... Oh, and an added bonus of me warping, you could see my coordinates for both places. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to grab my cobble. Whoops. Why is that still burning? Well, you know what? While I'm thinking of it, because I know I'm going to forget it unless I do this, we're going to try to grab everything. Perfect. Okay, close the door, go to base one, um, so yeah, if you have any opinions on Terraria, like if you played it, let me know, um, let me know if you like this texture pack, if so, I might continue using it. And comment, rate, subscribe, and enjoy, I guess.